if thou wilt, cut off the heads of thy two children and besmear me with their blood, I shall receive life again. Besmear me? That's disgusting. Fairy tales? Weak, Chris. Very weak. Weak? Have you ever read these things? Not the wimpy versions, the original ones. Ah, uh, no, can't say I have. I have. They're full of stabbings and demons and man-eating animals, and cutting off limbs and whatnot. Cool stuff. My favorite, the one where the old woman kidnaps the prince and puts blood on the queen's mouth while she sleeps to make the king think she ate him. That's so gross. I love it. I'm not buying it. A kitty story is a kitty story, no matter how you cut it. Oh, man, you're not gonna tell some tired old fairy tale, are you? Not exactly. The story I'm gonna tell is about a girl who loved fairy tales. She had a huge collection. She knew most of them by heart. The trouble was, she spent so much time thinking about the world of make-believe that she started to forget the difference between reality and imagination. And when you do that, a fairy tale can soon become a scary tale. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Final Wish. Go ahead, my dear. Have a taste. Such a pretty apple. You must take a bite. For if you don't, I'll have to... Force you to eat it! Grow up, Jill. <sighs> this is stupid. There's nothing under there. this last week. <laughs> Make fun of me. What's going on? Nothing. Jill had a nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare. There was something under there. Jill, we all have nightmares. You just can't take them so seriously. Go back to bed. Gotcha. It was you? Mom! <laughs> Come on, don't be such a snitch. you do that? thought you wanted to find something under the bed. You're always looking. Why don't you just grow up? Me? You're the one who's still living in a fairyland, princess. You're 13 years old. Listen to the radio. Go to a concert or something. Stop being a kid, and maybe you won't be scared of boogeymen under the bed anymore. 
Sweet dreams. Jill, come on. I'm gonna miss the bus. Jill, don't do this again. I'm coming. Jill was having a rough time. Everyone kept telling her to grow up and act your age, but she didn't know how to grow up any faster. And she wasn't exactly sure how kids her age were supposed to act. Yuck. I can't wait. Adios. Jill, I am not going to call you again. I'm late. Why does she always do this? I don't know, but if she misses the bus again, it's your turn to drive her. But... Bye. Oh. Jill, I am not going to be late for work. I'm coming! Sorry. Why do you do this? All I ask is that you get up and out on time. Now I'm gonna have to drive you to school, and I'm gonna be late for work again. I told you I'm sorry. Don't ignore me. You are gonna have to learn some responsibility, miss. Other people live in this house, and we're getting tired of putting up with your childishness. Come on. Joe kind of understood why her family was giving her grief. But her friends weren't helping much either. He's so fine. I'd talk to him, but I'd probably drool or something. Aren't you guys being kind of obvious? We're just looking. Yeah, like a couple silly gooses. Silly gooses? My grandmother says that. Did you see that? He checked her out. Did he check her out? No way. He wouldn't check out a geek. Look at this. Grimm's fairy tales. Mother Goose. The Sandman and other tales. What is with her? Is she like a baby or something? Talk about us. We saw you flirt with him. I didn't. I had to sharpen my pencil. Yeah, right. He's coming. He's coming. Hey, Joe. Hi. You have that reading assignment Kelly gave us yesterday? I lost it someplace. Sure. This what you're supposed to read? Hey, these are really interesting. You reading these? Yeah, no, I have to do a book report. On what? Humpty Dumpty? Hey, trolls, I used to play these when I was a kid. Jill plays with them now. Get out of here, really? Hey, Jill, you forgot your doll. Jill knew she was being kind of childish. There was something inside her that didn't want to give up the world of fairy tales. Because in all those stories, no matter how bad things got, everyone always lived happily ever after. And the princess always got the prince. I've come to awaken you, sleeping beauty. Oh, Jill, it's me. Why did you do that? I got this for Halloween and I just wanted to show you. You did not. You wanted to scare me. No, really, I didn't mean... Yes, you did! I hate you! I hate all of you! I'm sorry! Jeez, don't get so bent out of shape. Get out of here! Leave me alone! There's no sweat. I'm gone. What's so wrong about wanting to live in a world where dreams come true and you can wish on a star? I wish I could. And I wish everybody would just leave me alone.
such a slime. If you think that you're gonna scare me again... a dream. I've got to be dreaming. You're getting warmer, but you're only half right. This place is a dream, but, um, you're not dreaming. I don't like riddles. The strangest things are there for me. Both things to eat and things to see. And many frightening sights abroad till morning in the land of Nod. Stop it. I'm scared and I want to know where I am. Oh, all right. You're no fun. Young Miss, you're in the Land of Nod, where everyone goes to dream. Land of Nod? And who are you? Uh, isn't it obvious? I'm the Sandman. And this is my home. The Sandman? Like the guy who puts sand in your eyes to make you go to sleep? At your service? Thank you. But that's a fairy tale. Exactly. Now we're getting somewhere. Excuse me. Needs more snooze. I don't believe you. I don't believe any of this. It's a joke. It's it's just. It's uh what you wished for. What? Here's the scene. You took my book, clutched it to your chest, looked out at the first star, and said, "What's so wrong about wanting to live in a place where dreams come true, where you can wish upon a star? I wish I could, and I wish everybody would leave me alone." Sound familiar? No. No way. Yes way! 
You're in your own fairy tale. Would you like to see how it comes out? Yes. Ah, sorry, that would be cheating. I want to go home. Uh, sorry, that's not what happens. Besides, fairy tales can't be changed. Where's my family? Did you take them too? Don't worry, they're here. They won't bother you anymore, just like you wished. No, I'm going home. You can't. That's reality. You wanted a fairy tale, remember? No, I don't. I want to go home. Then maybe you should have been a little bit more careful about what you wish for. <laughs> You did. It's my fairy tale, and if you can change it, so can I. Please put that down. I'm gonna put it down, all right, and I'm gonna close the book. No! Just like you. Jill. Jill, honey, what's the matter? Yeah. Now what? dream. It was all a dream. You were screaming. Are you okay? No, she's not. She's a nutcase. <laughs> See? No, I'm fine. I, it was a stupid nightmare. I'm sorry. It's okay, honey. Go back to sleep. Guys? I know I've been kind of a pain. 
I think it's time to start giving up this fairy tale stuff. Hooray. That's fine, honey. Just don't give up on the kid inside altogether, okay? I'm never gonna get back to sleep. take fairy tales lightly. You never know which ones are made up and which ones are real. Excellent. I just have one question. What? Where's the part about the kids getting their heads chopped off? 